I don't know if this got any publicity anywhere, but apparently I've been permanently banned from Twitter by Elon Musk. Aaron Rupart, Donnie O'Sullivan, Ryan Mack, it's the baptism scene from the Godfather movie, and we all got whacked by Don Elon Musk Leone. Hey guys, the rumors are true. I have been permanently suspended by Twitter. I was given zero reason. First time. <laughs> Super crazy. Uh, Elon seems to be banning anyone he disagrees with, and I certainly um, didn't violate any terms that I was aware of, so. That's a shame. Twitter banned. The accounts of leading journalists from news outlets suddenly suspended, saying the users, quote, violated Twitter rules. Welcome to the party, pal! Wielding his power as CEO to suspend several well-known journalists without much explanation overnight. However, some of those accounts he temporarily axed from Twitter include people who have been critical of him. Yeah, I mean, the point is, Donny, it's, it's you today. Is it the president tomorrow? Is Biden going to say something? Is Macron going to say something to criticize him? I mean, there's a lot at stake here. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, Twitter, in a, under its old management, already kicked off a, a president of the United States, although in very, very uh, different circumstances. He's in, boys! He did it! He said it! It's quite absurd. Um, so, yeah, just to back up one step, I mean, what, what, what turns out uh, to have been the case here was that he was upset over a tweet that I posted linking to the Facebook page of the Elon Jet account, uh, which was banned from Twitter. Uh, this is an account that tracks Elon's private jet using publicly available information. So it's not like this is, you know, some sort of stalker account or using information that can't be found by anyone and leading to my banishment. But I do think the idea that that in any meaningful, meaningful way endangered himself or his family is quite absurd. It's unreal. After a year's worth of the media, Democrats, and big tech cheering on the censorship and suppression of their political opponents, now, of course, they demand that they be judged on different standards. Because they're all pathologically deranged partisan hacks who are seemingly incapable of self-reflection or awareness. Never forget that this was their response to criticisms that Twitter was silencing Republicans and conservatives. How much of a violation is this of free speech? Yeah. Well, it, you know, as you know, the First Amendment doesn't apply to private companies. This is like a storefront saying, hey, I don't really want uh, somebody saying that thing in my business. Five minutes later. I'm not a scholar on authoritarian history, but yeah. I've, let, I've read Hannah Arendt. I've read all these people. Mm -hmm. This is how it gets really bad. This is the start of something that gets really, really bad because of how the pipes work, how the system works, because of the incentives of the richest people in the world then that's how you lose your democracy. Well, it, I, you know, as you know, the First Amendment doesn't apply to private companies. It was a private company where free speech had its limits. Namely, those limits started where the criticism of Democrats began. They're all very dishonestly saying that the suspension of these so-called journalists occurred because they were critical of Elon Musk. Except that's not why. They were suspended for breaking the doxing rules and sharing information that showed the exact location of Musk and his family. By their own standards, that's inciting violence against Elon Musk, especially when you combine it with the drumbeat of negative rhetoric coming from the media over the last few weeks. And we can even test this theory by demanding the release of the exact locations of every journalist at ABC, NBC, CBS, PBS, NPR, CNN, and MSNBC. That won't be a problem, right? Not a chance. All we've heard from these people for the last few weeks is how any criticism of them is a direct line to violence. Yet somehow, there's nothing wrong with these journalists tweeting out the exact location of Elon Musk and his family. You know what? This all seems really familiar. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and share it. Also, leave a comment before you leave. And I want to promise you all, I am going to get back to the daily schedule. It's just been really hectic with my pregnant wife and just the holidays in general. But I will be getting back onto a regular schedule soon. Thanks a lot.